Pastor Luke, man of God. Pastor Luke, man of God. Man the Bible, it is true. Pastor Luke, man of God. Uh, and I, I've come this morning to make an announcement to the enemy that the internal greatness cannot be defeated by using external tactics. That it's only when I allow what you say to me or say about me to get inside of me that now my potential and my greatness is threatened. But I've come to tell you that our God has brought us too far and he didn't bring us this far to leave us. God is going to finish what it is he completed and everything that God said you're going to do, you shall be able to do. Greatness is not a place. Greatness is not a number. I need you to hear me. Greatness, watch this saints of God, is a system. It's what you put into place, hear me, to get things done. I need you to catch that because some people, they have great talent, but they have a broken system. I've come to tell you, that you must fix the system because you are a hard worker but you're not advancing because your system is broken and it doesn't matter how beautiful you are how much you got going on if your system is broken you will never be able to share that beauty with anyone you can change relationships but it's not the relationship it's the system because your system has you choosing the same type of person doing the same type of thing. I wish I had somebody in here. You can be anointed, you can be talented, and you can be smart. But if your system is broken, you will be frustrated with yourself, with those around you, and you will be frustrated with God because you need somebody to blame for where you are with all that you have done. But it's a system thing. It is, you gotta have a wise, you gotta have a wise work ethic. You're not waiting on God to make you great. You're not waiting on God to make you great. God's waiting on you to pull the greatness out that he's already placed inside of you. And some of you, you can be talent, but I want you to know your talent will get you in the room. I told you that your talent will get you on the team, but a poor work ethic will get you cut. Did you hear me? There, there, there are some things, Prophet, that I practice on purpose. I pray when I don't really need anything. I study when I ain't got to preach. I wish I had somebody in here. Uh, I, I, I serve as if I'm serving my own children. I, I, I serve other folks' children as if it was my children. I, I serve other folks' parents if it, was, if, if it was my mother or my father. I serve them. I give as if I'm expecting to receive. I practice because I'm giving, and I don't know when God is going to give it back to me, but I'm giving as if I'm expecting to receive. And people may forget the price you paid, but they will never forget the value that you added to their life. You can be dead and gone, and they still will remember the value that you've added to their life. Until you learn to, to add value to somebody else. I don't know who I'm talking to in here today, but I need you to understand that the best way to, for you to become great is to find a void and fill it. Nobody should have to ask you to show up to feed the hungry. Nobody should have to ask you to help folk pay their bills. Nobody should have to ask you to go and visit the sick. Nobody should have to ask you to go to the, to the jail and visit those that are incarcerated. When you fill a void, let me talk to you. All of God's children, hear me clearly, have greatness inside of them. It's because of who lives in them. Not because of anything exterior, it's because of who has set up residence on the inside of them. All of God's children have greatness in them. Whether you're rich or you're poor, whether you're black or you're white, whether you were born under the bush villages of a uh, um, uh, underdeveloped nation, or whether you were born amidst the marble floors of the aristocrats of society. We have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of power may be of God and not of us.